Hey guys, Ryan here again. I just wanted to jump on here and give a quick, uh, not quite poolside chat on a, a topic that I was talking today in clinic with a patient. Um, as we age in America, uh, I think that our outlook on what we should be able to do and can do and, sh and other countries do really well is live with a little more vitality. And I think in this pandemic, it's actually even more uh, rising to the forefront. So a lot of countries, what they do well is stay healthy and fit and don't just kind of mail it in after they retire. Or I know I have friends that do this and I've even been part of this too, is have kids and then feel like I don't need to stay physically fit anymore. All my efforts should go into work, work, work and take care of my kids and not really focus on my own health. Um, and I think I see this in retirees a lot too. But in reality, we need to embrace the culture of fitness for life strength for life, flexibility for life, cardiovascular health for life. And we know that these things are key in keeping people from dying from these viruses. So one of the key indicators in a research study that uh, shows longevity, so what is a key indicator on how long we're gonna live, is whether or not, and I don't know if you can see this, you can get on the ground and sit down and then get back up without using your hands. So where does that come into play? So Asian cultures, Middle Eastern cultures that we see with a very low level of uh, healthcare expense in these countries, um, they live really long and are, have lives where they can still perform physical labor and go for long hikes and um, have a lot more vitality in their, in their late years because they can squat to the ground. Their beds are on the ground. They eat dinner on the ground, squat it. Um, so your ability to be able to get off the ground and get back up without using your hands greatly increases your life expectancy and your ability to do vital, enriching, fun things as you get older. Hope that helps guys. I will talk to you next time. Take care.